So with that, as a brief introduction, I give you David Leeson, an, an incredible human and a great Thank filmmaker. You Thank you. Thanks for being here. Well, this may, uh, this may sound really peculiar for someone to introduce a film who literally cannot watch films like this. And yet, it's also a powerful statement of what happens in war and the sacrifices that are made and how it does change people. My first introduction to war, in fact, was when I was just a little boy, maybe five years old. And it was not too long after, uh, well, I guess it would be, but I'm not that old. But it was one of my uncles who was suffering from World War II had serious PTSD issues, and his brothers, who were also at the war, were comforting him, and they took all the children and threw them out of the room. But I snuck back and I listened, and I heard some things that I wish I'd never heard. And mostly I heard his crying, his tears, his anguish. <laughs> Little did I know that I would spend a good 20 years covering 11 global conflicts, even though my mother desperately tried to keep me out of Vietnam, which uh, I just barely missed by a year by the draft. But nonetheless, I went to war, and when I thought about this, this introduction, just this brief moment with you, I thought, what can I say about war? There's nothing. There's too little to say, and there's too much to say at once. War may be necessary, but it is always an evil. Dwight Eisenhower himself believes such things. And I have to tell you that, ultimately, I had to think about the soldiers that I've known, that I've traveled with, I've slept with, ate in mills with, been in battles with, and risked my life with. It was all about a greater good of some sort, whether for self or for country. A greater good. I was in Angola in a war that had been going on for 30 years in a small town that was surrounded by UNITA rebels and rockets and fire came in throughout the night and there were a thousand orphans living there and people were starving to death. And there was a nurse sitting at one feeding center and her own job was to simply see who is starving enough to enter. And for six weeks, this small child, orphan, came wanting entrance to get food. She had to turn him away for six weeks until he was starving to death. And I asked her about it. What's that like for you? Because I think that's the question we forget in war, is that war is not just what's happening. There is no end to Iraq. There is no end to the Gulf War. There's no end to Vietnam until they all pass away. And even then, how has it changed the fabric of who we are? And this woman said, who am I to play God? But it's for a greater good. And in fact, there is no greatness without risk, as soldiers know. And there is no goodness without sacrifice. So I can't watch these films. It's too much for me. In fact, merely thinking about it makes me want to flee. I haven't seen Restrepo, I didn't see Jarhead, I didn't see Control Room, I didn't see all these great films, and I know they're great. My friends talk about them. I can't do it. It's too much. But I hope you will, and I hope you'll take home a great message because it does seem like an amazing film. Thank you very much.